Hi Capricorn, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you for the week of September the 4th and that's the day of Labor Day here in the USA and I do have a reading sale on for Labor Day. Actually there's a lot of different audios, hypnosis audios, meditations and products in the Cosmic Shop on JenniferAngel.com I don't, which are also on sale. I don't always have the readings on sale so it's a good, uh, it's a good chance to you know cash in on a little bit of a discount there. Okay, so this week we have a lot going on. Okay, so there's a lot happening in your solar eighth house, um, and uh, the, and the, we did have the eclipse here, and that's very good for official business, very good for money coming in from different sources as well. Okay, and we have a full moon this week in our communication area. The moon is in our solar third house and the sun, because for there to be a full moon, we need the sun and the moon opposite. And the sun is in our area of soul purpose. Now this is really very interesting because it's not only a, a full moon opposition, but the sun is also opposite um, Neptune. So this is a very inspirational, imaginative, it brings in creativity and the ninth house is like it's about travel, um, publishing. In my mind the ninth house is very much about you living your soul purpose. Okay and it's a house of spirituality and religion as well. So it's like getting in touch with who you are and um, you know who you are, what you do, what you want to do. Are you walking the path of your dream, your purpose? Do you need to make some alterations now? Later in the uh, not no, not so much later in the week or later in the week. Mercury, which comes out of retrograde this week, is going to move into this area as does Mars. So by the end of the week, we're going to have Mercury, the Sun, and Mars. It's really in Mars is like the trigger that pushes things forward. Forward, okay, it's very motivating energy, and it really helps you to the you know the full moon will help you get some clarity, and Mars uh, helps you push it forward. And let's not forget that Mercury is the thinking planet, the communication planet. So things can start to develop. Uh, there's also a connection between the Sun. In this area of your chart and Pluto in your sign. So it's like a, a, something fateful can happen during this time because the Sun and Pluto, powerful energy together, is in a trine. It's like a meant to be and it can happen quickly because Mars is impulsive and action and as Mercury comes out of retrograde then the handbrake comes off and things start to come together. Now at the start of this week before we get to that point, we've got right around the fifth and the sixth a, a number of these a, a number of this planetary act activity is happening. So we've got the full moon, the opposition of Sun and Neptune, Mars on the move, um, and Mercury coming out of retrograde. Okay, so that's pretty disruptive, intense energy. So at the start of the week, if things don't uh, like seem to be going the way that you want, try not to get too frustrated. Take some deep breaths. Go and remove yourself from the energy for a bit. Come back and start again. Okay, because it will straighten out. It will move forward. All right have faith. <laughs> um, okay, I'm a Capricorn. If you've been watching me for all, you'll know. Um, all right, so this is the card I've selected for us from John Holland's Psychic Tarot, Destiny. And it's like, I love the one, the 10, the one, and the zero because the zero is like a spiritual symbol and the one is action. Get going. So, you know, I have a good vibe about that. And, you know, if you're a Capricorn like me, you've been working hard to get things going and it's about time it started moving. Well, you know, there's a good chance that's going to happen now. So let's wait and see. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit jenniferanger.com and subscribe to my newsletter. I would really appreciate that. Thanks so much.